Hey y'all, welcome back. Doing something a little different today. Have my face cam on. I was feeling cute. Got some new glasses. So, you know, we're here. This is Lil Cinzy's Yeehaw Shell. I thought it was really fun. I'm from Texas. She's got that meme about when she does like a random shell, it ends up looking like Texas which is so funny because I always see it too. <laughs> so this is her Yeehaw shell and I was here for it. So we went all in. I decided to go ahead and roll with the Western theme here using the Horse Ranch World Chestnut Ridge. And I just kind of rolled with it. This is base game and Horse Ranch only. I wanted to just kind of lay into that Western feel, like I said. And girl, boy, person watching this, do not pay any attention to the craziness that is happening on the roof. I mean, I really tried. I didn't want to be the person that I am and just make everything a balcony, but everything's a balcony. <laughs> I, I roof where I can and I give up where I, it's just not working for me. So I'm really excited to see other people's builds to see how they roofed because it's a learning process. I wish there were more door options, like a smaller barn door, I guess. I definitely played around with the doors a lot, tried to figure out what would look best and kind of keep it small. I just knew right off the bat that I wanted the main door to be right there and just to kind of have a little fun entrance. And because we are doing a shell challenge, stepping out and making a community lot. So here's how this one's going to go down. Okay, this is a community lot. It can be a bar, a lounge or a nightclub. We roll with it deep on this one. And it could be more if you like played with other packs, you could add in things like a karaoke machine to make it a karaoke bar if that's what your heart desired. But I didn't use any other packs. So this is where we're at. <laughs> I also decided to make the top floor a small apartment. I wanted to do that just to make this playable for anybody. You know, if you don't want a bar or a lounge or a nightclub, you could easily take this and it's your home. It's got a cute little small apartment upstairs and I really like the way it looks. Always, always like the way it looks. <laughs> I really love the variety of windows that comes with Horse Ranch. It really made it easy for me to go in and put lots of different variations and make this look really cute. I went darker with it. I don't know why I went darker with it, but we used a lot of dark woods. <laughs> and that's cool. I liked it. I, I like the dark woods. It's very pretty. It just, the dark stone and the dark wood just spoke to me. You know what I mean? Give them a chimney. My original idea was to have a fireplace in this little house ranch bar lounge. <laughs> it just didn't work out for me to do that. Too little of a space. And I wanted to make sure that it was a really nice playable house that had, you know, a kitchen that you could use and a little living space, living room, a nice bed. So we don't do a fireplace and that's fine. You don't always need a fireplace. They're nice, but you know, they just take up space. So here I'm going in and going through the lot types and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it has all of the things so it can qualify for that lot type. So lounge, which I know it says love seats. I put a love seat outside and I put a love seat in the apartment because it just, I wanted too much stuff. And then looking at it, I was like, I don't have room for a bathroom. You know what? An outhouse. What's better than a country western bar saloon with an outhouse? I mean, it just works. This was a relatively quick build because she made it into a tiny home. It was smaller and real easy to kind of get to the point of what I wanted it to look like and have that vision come to life. So decorating the apartment, like I said, I wanted you to have a nice bed, a little love seat to sit. You got a radio, a TV. The kitchen's going to come in just a minute. It's just a tiny little kitchen, just enough where you have a kitchen that you can use, you know? And then the bathroom is a little bit bigger. I probably could have made it smaller, but it really fit right there. I put that wall up there uh, to do something. What was I doing? I don't even know what I was doing. I put the wall up and it just, it just worked. And I never took the wall away. And that's just where the bathroom is. And I know it's kind of weird. It's like right in the front. They've got curtains. It's okay. And the Sims don't care as long as they're behind four walls. It could be entirely windows and they would not care. So we're good. I just kept it Western and tried to use like similar colors in the patterns of everything that I used. And it could be any person that lives in this house. Be whoever you want to be in this cute little apartment. And I like it. My aunt had a 
over the garage apartment when I was growing up and I always thought it was the coolest thing. Like she had one over her garage, not that she lived in one. I just always thought they were so cool. I'm like, I want to live there. I probably still would. I mean, that's kind of fun. I don't know that, you know, me and my two boys should be cramped up in an, <laughs> a garage apartment, but I always thought they were so cool. So this is kind of like that coming coming to real life. I think it's it's real fun to have that. Like this is your, where what you own, you know, this is your, your home and your bar and you live above it. It works. <laughs> so I end up calling this the Chuck Wagon Saloon because in my idea, um, which I kind of looked it up just to make sure I wasn't crazy, a saloon is like a bar lounge area. And so I like that. It's a saloon. You're going to go and kick back and hang out and there's music and you're just relaxed and enjoying your time. And so that was fun for me. I like that. I like it's a saloon. And Chuck Wagon. <laughs> so I mean, I what's a Chuck Wagon, right? I put that gnome in the front and his name is Chuck and he's standing in front of a wagon and he is the keeper of the Chuck Wagon. So um, it's the Chuck Wagon and he's our resident gnome. I just thought that was funny and cute. He's right there. Little, little chuck wagon. Anyways, I mean, like I said, it came together fast. And then it was like all the outside stuff. Because you know, your girl likes to clutter. I like to add a lot of stuff. But I really didn't for this build. I tried to keep my clutter to a minimum and my decor to a minimum. It just uh, felt right there. You know, you can't really clutter the bar up too much. It's a bar, you got to kind of keep it open. The tables, I put some sunflowers on them, put a couple things on top of the piano. And then upstairs, it's a tiny apartment, right? So there's very minimal clutter. And it works. I think it doesn't feel cramped because I didn't use too much. I wanted to use that really great archway. They've got so many I do change it to the other one with the oval sign. It just seems very fitting. And it's like you would come in and you know, oh, hey, there's the chuck wagon. I don't know. <laughs> curtains suck. Also trying to find the curtains like to go around. I really like the horse ranch ones. And obviously it's the vibe, right? So I do shrink them down and place them around. I like this open barn window. I just wish there was an option that had glass in it because it feels a little weird that the window above the bar is like wide open, but it's okay. It's the Sims. They don't care. We don't care. Nothing's going to happen to them. They're fine. They're safe. <laughs> Here's that minimal clutter. I don't know if you saw, I took that giant palm tree and like sized it down and used it as a little bedside plant. <laughs> it's really cute plant and it's so big and it's so spread out. Like the fronds are everywhere and it's kind of hard to place. So I don't get to use it a whole lot, but it's super pretty. I like it. So I got to use it. I went ahead and took this weird little nook she made and turned it into like a coat rack. So I put one of the horse ranch shelves in there. I also all placed a little chest, but also putting this little like coat rack, this little shelf with a coat rack takes away your need for a dresser upstairs, which I thought was smart because it's a tiny home. So if you are going to play in it as a house, now you have a dresser, you know, and then I definitely wanted to have, you know, we're talking about it being a lounge. So they want a musical instrument and a mic. I put both obviously, and I put a guitar as well as the piano because it just felt right. You know, maybe you've got people coming around, they're gonna play the piano or the guitar, or you got like all three, someone's singing, they're playing the piano, playing the guitar. It is a tight, cramped space. Probably would not recommend if this was real life that that be your platform music area, but it is what it is for The Sims. It serves its purpose, looks really cute, and I'm happy with it. <laughs> I tried a lot of different rugs for all the areas. I sized them down and sized them up and really just wanted to make sure that they all looked nice together. And then I'm just running through lot types, making sure that it's fitting everything I want it to fit and just trying to go in and add some clutter. And I do that periodically, you know, I'm like the whole everything is finished and I go in and add a little more clutter, but not much. Like I said, it's, it's really simple. Also, you have a little dining room table for your Sim who lives here outside the bedroom door. And then this upstairs turns out to be like a little place for a telescope and an art easel. I do put the potted plants downstairs. The big thing, if you're noticing that there's no staircase, it's on purpose. I mean, I kind of forget midway through my like that there's no staircase, but I had a goal, okay? <laughs> I wanted the staircase to be on the outside of the build. That way, yes, you can go in to the saloon from the front, but there it is. <laughs> but the owner, the, the 
barkeep whoever whoever works here lives here whatever that looks like for your gameplay i put like a little debug truck and so the thought is that this person just drives their truck up and can go straight upstairs into their apartment love it i'm here for it i thought that was a really cute idea when i had it originally and then i kind of forgot mid mid build and went back and put it in <laughs> and then you'll see i put the chairs and the little bonfire because that feels very country to me i mean like i said i'm from texas so i cannot tell you how many, you know, bonfires I've been to and go outside and sit around a fire and just hang out and chill <laughs> and just hang out and chill. I mean, so it just, it felt right. We're, we're yeehaw shell challenge. Like it's good. It's good. <laughs> Give a little rocking chair. My idea for this was that the owner of this bar used to train horses. So if you saw all the like horse awards on the wall, gold, silver, bronze in every category, I mean, not that they, not that that's realistic, but it's the sim, so it works. So my idea was that this person used to train horses, own horses. You can kind of like, that's a gray area, whatever that looks like for your gameplay, I guess. So I had the horse trailer and I really wanted to make it work where there was a horse trailer and a truck. Alas, I get rid of the trailer and then just have the truck and I like it. I put a little grill back there. There's some plant pots. Of course, you got your trash can back there. There's not one in the apartment and technically there's not one in the bar. It's fine. It's fine. They can go out back and throw their trash away. <laughs> But we're really coming to the end. It's last minute stuff. I put the little like horse bar thing, like where you would like ride your horse up and tie them to the post, a horse post. I don't know. Is that what you call it? I don't know. I I live in Texas. I don't live in like old Texas. I had a lot of fun with that tile and tried to just add a lot of dirt to it, make it look old and worn like it used to be all stone. But after years and years of people coming to visit, it's just worn. If you like this build, you can get it off the gallery. The E-A-I-D is Caddx Thrash, just like here on YouTube. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Keep coming back for more. I hope you have a great night wherever you are. Bye, y'all.